Hello, welcome to Creata Classes. In this lecture, we will cover the visual proof of the formula that is area of triangle is equal to 4 by 3 times the area of the triangle formed by the medians. In this lecture, we will cover the visual proof with the help of the animation and the visual tool. The proof will be slightly longer, but just be with me. I will try to make it like interesting using the animation and the visual tools. And in the end, we will also cover a question to see the implementation of this formula. The basics of the median we have covered in a separate video. The link is given in the description. Just check it out. So let's begin with the visual proof of this formula. The concept is the area of triangle is equal to 4 by 3 times the area of triangle formed by the medians. Firstly, we will see what is the triangle formed by the medians. For that, let's take a triangle ABC with medians as AF, CD and BE. Okay, three medians are there. Let's give the name to the medians as A, B and C. Let's take the three medians out of the triangle. Can we form a triangle from these three sides? That is triangle with sides as A, B and C. This triangle we will call as the triangle formed by the medians. Okay. As per this concept, area of the triangle ABC, this complete triangle ABC, is equal to 4 by 3 times the area of the triangle formed by these three medians. This is very important concept, you should remember it. But now the question is why? Why the area of this triangle is equal to 4 by 3 times the area of the triangle formed by the median? Okay, let's see so. Let's extend the line BE to the point H such that GE is equal to EH. GE and EH both are equal. Let's join A and H. Just now we have studied that centroid divide the median into the ratio of 2 is to 1. So we can say the ratio of AG to GF is 2 is to 1. If complete AF is equal to A, we can say AG is equal to 2 by 3A, okay, and GF is equal to 1 by 3A. What we have done? We have divided this complete line segment of length A into two parts of ratio 2 is to 1. Complete will be 2 plus 1 that is 3. So the first part will be 2 by 3 and second part will be 1 by 3. Okay. The fundamental of ratios we have applied. Similarly, we can say DG is equal to 1 by 3B and GC is equal to 2 by 3B. Similarly, this is 1 by 3C and this is 2 by 3C. Simply we have applied the fundamental of ratio and proportion and the concept that is centroid divide the medians into the ratio that is 2 is to 1. Okay. Further, just now we have taken GE is equal to EH and we know GE is equal to 1 by 3C. It means that EH will also be equal to 1 by 3C. Okay. Further, AE is equal to EC. Why? Because BE is a median and median join the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So E is the midpoint. So we can say AE is equal to EC. If we take the triangle AEH and triangle GEC, okay, two triangles are there. Just now we have seen AE is equal to EC and GE is equal to EH. Both are equal to 1 by 3 C. Further, both of these angles are vertically opposite angle. So we can say angle AEH is equal to angle GEC. So by SAS rule, we can say both the triangles are congruent to each other. Okay, we have proved both the triangles are congruent to each other. So by CPCT, we can say GC is equal to AH. That is GC is equal to 2 by 3 B. So we can say AH is also equal to 2 by 3 B. Okay, getting the understanding. Okay, we have just proved both of these triangles are congruent to each other by SAS rule. For those who have still not completed congruency and similarity, those students to complete the topics before coming to this topic. After understanding the fundamental of congruency only, you will be able to further understand the concept of this chapter. Okay, moving further, we have just proved both of these triangles are congruent to each other, means they are exactly matching each other, which further means that area of both of these triangles are equal to each other. So we can say area of triangle AEH is equal to area of triangle GEC. 
If we add the triangle of AGE to both the sides, we can say area of this complete triangle is equal to area of this complete triangle. That is area of triangle AGH is equal to area of triangle AGC. Area of both of these triangles will be equal to each other. Okay, simple. And previously we have seen that medians divide the complete area of the triangle into six equal parts. These are the six equal parts. So can we say area of these two triangles is equal to 1 by 3 times area of the complete triangle ABC? Okay, this is 1 by 6, this is 1 by 6. On adding, we got 1 by 3. So we can say area of triangle ABC is equal to 1 by third of the area of triangle ABC. And just now we have proved that area of triangle AGC is equal to area of triangle AGH. Okay, area of both of these triangles are equal to each other. So by comparing, we can say area of triangle AGH is equal to one third of the area of triangle ABC. Okay, getting the concept? Firstly, we have proved both of these triangles are congruent to each other. Then we have proved area of this complete triangle is equal to area of this complete triangle. Then we have seen area of this triangle is equal to 1 by 3 times area of this complete triangle ABC. I will keep on repeating the fundamental and keep on repeating the steps so that you can understand the steps. Moving further, if we observe the triangle AGH, let's take the triangle AGH out of the figure. Are you able to observe all the sides are 2 by 3 times the length of the medians? Let's compare this triangle with the triangle formed by the median. The triangle formed by the median is having the sides as A, B and C. And this triangle AGH is having the sides as 2 by 3 A, 2 by 3 B and 2 by 3 C. That is medians into 2 by 3. Okay. Can we say both of these triangles are similar to each other? Their ratios of corresponding sides are equal. And we have done the theorem in the similarities of the triangle. That is, if two triangles are similar, then the ratio of the area of both the triangle is proportional to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. And both of these triangles are similar. So can we say area of triangle AGH upon area of triangle formed by the median is equal to 2 by 3A upon A whole square, which is further equal to 2 by 3 upon B whole square, which is further equal to 2 by 3C upon C whole square. That is area of triangle AGH upon area of triangle formed by the median is equal to 2 by 3 whole square. That is 4 by 9. And just now we have proved area of triangle AGH is equal to 1 by 3 times area of the triangle ABC. Let's replace so. On solving we got area of triangle ABC is equal to 4 by 3 times area of triangle formed by the medians. This is the proof of the concept. So we got that area of triangle ABC is equal to 4 by 3 times area of triangle formed by the medians. This is very important concept, you should remember it. And now you have understood that how we got this formula. Let's take a small question based on this formula. The medians of the triangle is given as 3, 4 and 5 cm. We have to find the area of this complete triangle ABC. So firstly we will form a triangle with the sides which are given as medians. 3, 4 and 5. Are you able to observe 3, 4 and 5 are Pythagoras triplet? That is, these will form a right angle triangle. Let's make a right angle triangle with sides as 3, 4 and 5. 5 is the hypotenuse and 3 and 4 are the legs of the triangle. Let's find the area of this triangle. Area of the triangle will be equal to half into base into height. That is half into 4 into 3, which is 6 cm square. So we got area of this triangle, that is the area of the triangle formed by the median as 6 cm square. Further, we have to find the area of the complete triangle ABC. And just now we have proved the relation that is area of triangle ABC is equal to 4 by 3 times the area of the triangle formed by the median. And we have calculated the area of triangle formed by the median as 6 cm square. So we got the area of triangle ABC as 4 by 3 into 6, that is 8 cm square, which is the answer of the question. Okay, very interesting formula. Many questions are generally asked based on this formula in the competitive exams. So you should know this formula. Okay, so we have covered the proof. Hope you have liked the proof and you have enjoyed the animated content. That is our way of teaching. 
we believe in adding creativity to the learning through our enhanced advanced teaching tools that is through animation and the visual tool apart from this lecture we also have a course on segments of triangle and triangle center check the link in the description we have covered everything from the basic to the advanced using the animation and the visual tool so that's it for this lecture thank you very much for being with creator classes bye for now have a great day